Hey everyone, after how much y'all love Milwaukee and Makita patent videos I did last month, I did a lot of digging and I found some DeWalt patents for tools they're working on for 2020. So buckle up, this is gonna be a crazy ride. This first one is a cordless floating transfer pump. This sketch on here looks like a literal back of the napkin sketch. It's super rudimentary, it's hand drawn. I think they just had a bunch of good ideas and threw them together. So this is a floating design, which means it doesn't matter how deep the water is that you wanna put it in, you just set it directly in there. It's got an inlet port in the very bottom, uh, so you don't need a lead-in hose. You can attach one to it though. It's got a, a thread for a common garden hose. It's got a few different safety measures in it. It's got an automatic shutoff for a run dry condition or if the impeller gets blocked. It also mentions variable speed and a preset volume setting. So you can say, I want this to pump five gallons into that bucket, set it and leave and it'll pump five gallons. It's also got options for connecting to a wireless network or Bluetooth. So you can have your phone give you notifications when it's shut off uh, or when other certain conditions happen. This next one is for a motorized mechanics creeper uh, powered by a Flexvolt battery that you can see in the drawings here. So I don't think it's a Mac tools patent under Stanley Black & Decker. I think it's for DeWalt tools because they're showing the Flexvolt batteries. Some features on this one, there are two different patents filed a month apart actually. The first one has one single powered wheel, which would be really hard to steer with because if it's not right under the center of gravity, it's gonna spin you uh, when it starts moving. So the second version, they have two powered wheels and they can turn so you can move sideways or front to back. You can also use it like a zero turn uh, and spin yourself around the center. It's got a bunch of different accessories on here as well. They've got uh, work lights that will light up uh, the undercarriage of the car that you're under. Uh, they've also got an option for a Bluetooth speaker. This next one is a Tough System compatible workstation. So they've already got rails that you can mount your Tough System boxes to the wall on. Now they're taking these rails and they're putting them on a work cart. Uh, so you've got a little tool cart that you can move around and if you've got some bigger tools that you want to keep in a uh, Tough System container, you can do that. Uh, they've got a couple different options including ones that mount on rails or ones that mount on uh, slots in the side of the workstation. So these patents are going to keep getting crazier and crazier and it starts to get a little bit weird with this one. This is a ride-on push mower that's convertible so you can walk behind it like a regular mower or you can flip the handle forward and use it as a stand-up riding mower. Uh, it is a gas engine for powering the mower blades but it shows cordless options for powering the motors on the wheels. So it's either a one or a two battery design. I bet it's going to be a flex volt if it's one battery. Um, but so they're, they're, it's, it's like a hybrid version that's not completely electric uh, because they're using gas for the mower blades. So I'm really not sure how stable this will be to operate. It looks a little bit precarious, uh, especially since they show it towing trash cans and a wheelbarrow is one of the design aspects that it has. So I'm not sure if this one will make it uh, past the drawing board, but it's a really interesting design. Next up is a Flexvolt and 20 volt max rotation powered charging station. So this is designed to go on top of a riding zero turn mower uh, and take the engine output shaft and clamp onto the top of it and use that rotational energy as an, as an alternator and charge your batteries based on that. This would be great for pros that want to use their commercial mower um, and stick with gas on that, but they want all electric tools for like edgers, uh, hedge trimmers, weed eaters, things like that. You can charge all your batteries while you're mowing and when you're done and need to trim out the yard, uh, you've got everything charged up ready to go. Hopefully the batteries can take the extra vibration. It does mention it has vibration isolators in this thing, but that's putting them in a much harsher environment than you're normally charging them in. Uh, plus I'm betting you're gonna have a lot of extra heat output from that engine as well. This next one is a hydrogen fuel cell power nailer. So DeWalt's current design is a mechanical flywheel uh, for their framing nailer that takes a little bit longer to spin up. I think they're trying to improve on that design and in this one you've got a hydrogen fuel cell that dispenses from metal hydride form which is really stable and safe to a gas form whenever you push the safety mechanism up against the workpiece. So then you've got hydrogen gas ready to go, you pull the trigger and it gives an electrical ignition and you get your gas powered framing nailer. So this is kind of like a butane gas nailer um, but in this case you're storing it in a more stable metal hydride form uh, for the hydrogen so it's safer than having a high pressure gas involved with uh, a tool that's going to get beat around. So this is it's still going to need a battery, uh, but it could use something as small as a 12 volt battery, or it's possible it could use a coin cell battery because that's what they list in the patent. All right, these next few are going to be really crazy. It's from the same engineers that brought you Flexvolt, 
and I think it's DeWalt's answer to MX Fuel. This is what they're calling the electric total task vehicle. It's a reverse trike ATV. Um, it's got an operating voltage specified between 240 and 380 volts, which is in the ballpark of what many electric cars run off of. Up to three of these batteries can be installed in the total task vehicle at a time, and they can be used to power the vehicle itself, DC attachments on the vehicle like a lawnmower deck, or they can be used to power 120 volt AC tools with a built-in inverter into each battery. It can output AC and DC simultaneously, and with these batteries, the way they're describing them, you should be able to get 1800 watts of continuous runtime for up to 45 minutes. It does specify the inverter built into uh, each battery is a modified sine wave, so it's not a pure sine wave though. So they give quite a range of voltages, but this is likely going to be 340 volts uh, since uh, two separate banks of 170 volts gets you, without a step up or step down transformer, what you need for a modified sine wave. Uh, sine wave is 120 volts RMS, and 170 volts is the peak that it reaches. So if you just step those two outputs, a positive and negative one, you don't need a transformer. If they're using 21700 cells, that's about 94 cells, which will weigh 14.6 pounds for the cells alone. Uh, so that's two and a half times what Milwaukee has in their MX fuel batteries. They've got 40 cells in their XC packs. So this is a huge battery. It's going to be pretty heavy and really not able to be put in any hand tools. So we're looking at FlexVolt covering all of their hand tools and then this thing covering all of their equipment. Some of the accessories listed and pictured in the patent are a trailer and towing capability, job site lighting, a forklift. There's a couple configurations of this one. I think the one with the forks next to the single wheel is a dumb idea and it looks really unstable, but on the other end it might work. There's also landscaping equipment attachments. There's grading equipment, a snowplow blade, a seed and fertilizer broadcasters, an auger, tiller, chipper, and lawnmower attachments. There's also concrete tools like cutoff saw attachments and concrete surface grinders. It can be towed behind a work truck and use regenerative charging to power, to power up the batteries while you're moving from job site to job site. Alternatively, it, it shows an option where you can load it onto a hitch and it's self-powered, it'll load itself so you don't need any other equipment to lift it on there. So building on this previous patent we just saw with these, the total task vehicle, this one is for using those same batteries for a light equipment line, just like MX Fuel. Some of the tools that they give include examples of soil and gravel compactors, power trials for concrete, lawn mowers, pressure washers, tillers, and other equipment. Uh, in addition to using the batteries, the patent mentioned an optional hydrogen fuel cell, which is the same size and form factor as the batteries, uh, to give boost to the electrical power output during super high demand applications. And this is where it gets really interesting because I think MX Fuel, everyone can admit, is really, really targeted towards pros. DIYers and homeowners really aren't going to be able to afford it because most of the equipment is not something that regular people will be using. It's just for pros. Uh, and anything else, like they, they might come out with a, a lawnmower and the inverter that they've, they've optioned, would just be too expensive for regular homeowners and DIYers to buy. Here's where DeWalt is cornering the market, I think, and this is a really great idea if they can pull it off. So in addition to what I just listed, they've got a patent for using these same batteries as extended range options in electric vehicles, as well as a home battery bank backup for when the power goes out. So the idea here is you can supplement a hybrid or electric vehicle battery capacity, so it's not the main battery, but you can supplement the range or the power output with these removable batteries from the previous two patents. So you can charge the removable batteries from the vehicle's main battery or charge the vehicle's main battery from them. So you can kind of move power back and forth between the two of them if you want. Uh, you can use it for extended range or a power boost with extra acceleration uh, if the vehicle supports that. Um, different versions of this power module are listed. Once again, they've got super capacitor versions high, for high discharge rate, high energy storage capacity versions, or even hydrogen fuel cells that can fit in here and output electricity. And this patent lists even more things that these batteries can be used for beyond electric vehicles. It mentions forklifts, lawnmowers, motorcycles, uh, and UTVs. In addition to electric vehicles, this can be removed and used as a home battery backup. So you can charge during times when electricity costs, costs are low, uh, or you can discharge during peak times or power outages. 
Uh, there's also a solar powered charging option too for these. So these are all Stanley Black & Decker patents, which means they might not be just DeWalt, but the Total Task vehicle, I think, falls solidly under DeWalt. I think some of the equipment lines are gonna fall under DeWalt. So we'll see what exactly under the Stanley Black & Decker umbrella comes out with these tools, but I think this is more than just a patent because I went and I said, these are some pretty crazy ideas. Are they, is there any other evidence that they're working on this? So things that I've found. Stanley Engineered Fastening is already working with the automotive industry. Uh, they've got ties and contacts to the electric vehicle marketplace, so they could have an in with an OEM for designing the capability for auxiliary batteries into their cars. That gives an option for reducing the cost of electric vehicles for the base model, because you could have one that just has the range to get around town, and then you can buy these extra battery modules to extend the capacity. Another point of proof, Stanley recently signed on as a partner for the Virgin Formula E racing team. Uh, it's possibly one of the reasons uh, they wanted to do that is to develop their capabilities for designing electric vehicles. On top of that, I found a job posting for an electric vehicle development manager for Stanley Black & Decker. In addition to all that, with such large batteries, you're going to have concerns about safety if they're punctured, if you have thermal runaway or something like that. So I found evidence that Stanley is working with companies, a company that is developing safe, stable lithium ion batteries that are puncture resistant and don't explode uh, when they're damaged. So I think all of these pieces, uh, with, with just the patent, I'd say this is pie in the sky, never gonna happen, great idea guys, but it's the same engineers that brought you Flexvolt. You've got all these other things coming together that give us other evidence Stanley is working on this. I think this is something that we could see in the next few years. And remember, these are just patent applications. There's no guarantee they're ever gonna make it to market, but I think there's a lot of evidence with how much work they put into this large battery system that we are going to see an MX Fuel competitor from DeWalt. So thanks for watching, and I'd love to hear in the comments what DeWalt tools you're looking forward to in 2020.